Hey guys, Joy Candy here and welcome back to my channel. Now I'm assuming by the intro you guys have kind of figured out what this video is going to be about. Yeah? Yeah? Well, if no, let me explain it to you. So recently I was going through my Instagram, answering you guys' questions, going through my DM, the whole bit, and I realized that I receive a lot of questions about my photos, like how I take my photos, what kind of camera I use, what kind of apps I use to edit, that whole bit. So I figured, why not do a video about it and explain it to you guys and give you guys like my how-tos, the little tricks that I've picked up over the years, and that whole thing. Now the phone that I'm currently using right now and I am super obsessed with because the camera quality is so good, it almost doesn't make any sense, is the Samsung Galaxy A7. I am obsessed with this phone. The one that I have right now is in the rose gold. It's pretty, it's pink, it's just so delicious. Now before I just keep going on and on about how amazing the photo quality on this phone is, I just figured I might as well just show you. So we can just start the video with my quick tips on how to take amazing Instagram photos with the Samsung A7 because it's the bomb song. I have way too much energy, I'm sorry. Let's just start the video. Go ahead, just go. Now since I am a fashion blogger, a full outfit of the day shot is a must. All you need is a great outfit, a great location, and lastly, some help. Once you find your little helper, find the perfect angle. Place your photographer a few steps back and make sure to direct them. I happen to be a fan of the low angle shots. They make me look taller. Try to take as many different shots as possible with different poses. This way you have a lot more choices to choose from. Remember, the more the better. It may irritate your photographer, but it's Instagram. They get it. Once your little photo shoot is done, go through the photos, find your perfect one, edit, Add a very cute caption like, she's got legs, lyrics by ZZ Tom, smiley face, and post. Now that your outfit of the day shot is done, you need to throw in some detailed shots. For this post, find any area that has great lighting. Try to place all the items that you want to take a picture of in one area, flip the camera forward, raise the phone up, and snap. Just like before, try to take as many photos as possible changing your angle and your pose. Next, just throw in a few Instagram edits and post away. Hashtag it's all in the details. On a day that you find yourself lounging in a bomb location, it is only right to take some photos. My first rule when it comes to take a scenic shot is making sure that the photo is straight. If it's not, no problem. That's what editing is all for. Now, if the scenic shot is a little bit too boring for you, why not throw yourself in it? If you don't have anyone to assist you, you can improvise. Prop your camera up with any items that you see around you. Place the phone horizontally, making sure that the lens is not covered, and lastly, make sure that the camera is upright and does not fall. Next, you set the timer and snap. Once the seconds start counting, you need to run like your life depends on it, stand in the perfect position, and pose. One of my favorite things about the Samsung A7 is the auto focus. For this photo, I didn't even have to worry about me being in focus. All I had to worry about was the angle and the timer. The phone did the rest. Wait, is anybody else hungry? And if you are gonna eat, it's only natural to take a food post. When taking a food post, it's all about three things. One, great lighting. Two, making sure that everything is well arranged. And three, the angle. For all of my food shots, I love a good aerial shot. Stand up, lift the phone up, and make sure that it is directly over the food. Frame the photo and snap. Try to take as many pictures, but you also don't want to take too many because otherwise your food will get cold. Trust me, I know. 
once again find a good picture do a few edits I love to do anything that just adds a little bit more sharpness to the food but then again the camera quality on this phone is so good that you really actually don't need to do that much on that now post dinner time now in case the lighting is a little bit too low you will need a flashlight to light the food just look around and borrow somebody's phone, turn on their flashlight and place it over the food and then... Wait, never mind, you don't have to do that anymore. That's a trick that I had to pick up when I was using my other phone, but I just realized something about this phone. If you turn on the flashlight on the phone, you can actually use a camera at the exact same damn time. Who came up with that? It's genius! Now it's time for a selfie. For my selfies, I like to keep it as simple as possible with some great lighting and a great background. Set your picture size to 3088 by 3088. I like to do this mainly because I'm way too lazy to try to crop a photo. Now raise the camera up and snap. My biggest tip when it comes to taking a selfie is look directly at the camera and not at the screen. It is all about the eye contact. I also love to use the airbrush app to help with scenic photos. Now take this photo for instance, I'm absolutely obsessed with it, it was a very beautiful place. Now the thing that really irritated me the most is the fact that one of the roses, if you can see, was bent. Now all I did was basically just take the blemish brush and then just slowly take it out. Voila, it was almost like it was never there. I will then do my basic whitening. You know, try to keep the photos looking nice, clean, and crisp. And that is it. I hope my Insta tips helped you guys out. And in case you use my little tips, I want y'all to tag me. Because I want to see y'all doing it. So I can be like, oh. Look at me helping the children of the world. Yes. Anyways, thank you all for stopping by. I love your faces and I love you all. And I just want to, you know, hug you through your laptop and through your phones and tell you guys I love you. And thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next week. Peace.